We're ready for Unleashed Fury in this steel cage match, Corey. What strategy can a competitor devise to increase their chances of winning? Well, if a superstar is not known for their agility, they might be best served looking to escape through the cage door because it could take a little while to get up the ropes. Great point. The superstars who rely on speed hit a flurry of offense, including the best that your arsenal has to offer, and try to get at as well. You have to find any advantage over your opponent and maximize it to have even a shot at victory. And victory is achieved when you escape and both feet hit the floor via pinfall submission. Ooh. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. That's a good way to make your presence felt. He caught him slipping. Proving tough to catch. Oh, I had that well scouted. Spear! Producing a trampling. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Watch out! Bloody Bulldog! Oh, man! Ouch! Ah, stop in the leg! Just nasty. Straight punch! SummerSlam 1994 will always be a memorable night for Razor Ramon and for the city of Chicago as Ramon took on double champion Diesel. Big Daddy Cool was the Intercontinental Champion and won half of the World Tag Team Champions with Shawn Michaels. Now while HBK was in Diesel's corner, Ramon rolled into the United Center with Chicago Bears legend Walter Payton as his corner man. A quick reversal by Razor Ramon. Now he's been put on the defensive. The added pressure of the steel cage may be getting to him. Ooh. Kurt Hawkins exploiting the opening. No one was synonymous with the Intercontinental Championship like Razor Ramon was in the mid-90s. The bad guy held the championship on several occasions with one of the highest profile victories coming at SummerSlam 94 over the seven-footer Diesel. It was a wild match for the Intercontinental Championship. And you can bet thanks to the bad guy and sweetness Walter Payton, it was a rough night in the Windy City for Big Daddy Cool and the Heartbreak Kid. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. There's going to be a lot of big moves in this match. But one question is going to be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? He's made it to the top, but can he finish? Reach the two, this could be it. Oh, oh yeah. again. Oh yeah, here's Kurt Hawkins. Oh. Ooh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Hawkins might have something here. We'll see if his stamina lasts. Ooh. Man, oh man. These guys are just like some caged animals in there. Oh. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. He's looking down on the cage from the top. Already at the top? End it already. Already at the top? End it already. What should Razor Ramon's mindset be at this point? Things are only going to get worse for him in there. Oh, yeah. Here's Kurt Hawkins. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. It has been absolutely brutal. He's starting to rise up the cage wall here. Well, the idea here is to... Kurt Hawkins with the W.
Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Kurt Hawkins. And so is Kurt Hawkins walking away victorious. I think Ramon might have been a little too preoccupied with his necklace at ringside. It is a nice necklace. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was 